Yes, it's true. I own Robert Smith's hockey jersey from when he played uh, during the swing tour. Robert Smith from The Cure. Uh, he wore this jersey. This is the actual jersey here. Uh, when he was in Europe, he came out. This is actually this actual jersey that's in the Mint Car video. I'm a huge fan of The Cure. I grew up in the 80s and 90s. Have a ton of autographs. I met The Cure plenty of times. Um, great album. And um, this actually I purchased from the guy who actually... So this, this background of this jersey is... So Robert Smith from The Cure played... Uh, or when he, in Europe, um, he got a hold of this hockey jersey. He started wearing it during the European tour for the swing tour. I think this is like 1995 or something, maybe 96? Um, 1995, I should know. And so he, he uh, wore this jersey for this, this... There's a video called Mint Car. This is the actual jersey he wore in the video. And he uh, so he started wearing hockey jerseys. And so he started wearing this jersey during the European tour. And then when he came to America, what he would do is every... Every um, every city, he'd wear that jersey, the hockey jersey, kind of created a theme. He'd wear a hockey jersey from that town. Like, so if he was in San Jose, he'd wear a Sharks jersey. I saw him in L.A., so he wore a, a Kings jersey. It was so cool. In fact, we used to follow him around and, and actually go to autograph signings and, and meet him. So that year, we made hockey jerseys ourselves that had, you know, the Quadipus. If, you know, if you're a Cure fan, if that is the Octopus in the front and then number 13 on back. These hockey jerseys. So we started, we made our own Cure jerseys. And started wearing him to concerts. And actually, when I met him, we gave him uh, one of the jerseys, and he dug it. He actually liked it. But uh, he said, oh, look for this in pictures. But I never did. He probably thought we were bootleggers, actually, looking back. But anyway, so this how I acquired this is he uh, they had a contest on the Cure's website. So win my jersey, actually, on the official Cure. So a guy won this jersey, and it was autographed. And he I lost because I tried to win, too. But he won. And he got the jersey. He's a guy out of Texas. And so I actually purchased this from him. And um, so Robert signed it. That's Robert's autograph right there. And it's kind of cool. I feel like this should be in like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or, or some kind of, I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, I should be in the Cure Museum or something. Or I don't know, some kind of museum. Because he actually wore this in Europe and it's kind of cool. And actually I have a picture here of him when he was in Europe. And you notice, you can see that little right there. You can see... Right there, and that, it's right there. So you can see that kind of matches up. There, wasn't so worn. There you go, there you go. But there's Robert Smith, he's like, uh, I think that he's playing a Fender Tennessee Rose. Cause I'm posting this on my channel where I play guitars. That was actually a Tennessee Rose, a red one he kind of went through, totally, uh, not not quite the Tennessee, and it was a later model, made, made in the 90s. Uh, but anyway, huge fan of The Cure. This is actually Robert Smith's jersey, so I thought I'd share that. And uh, is it weird to have it in my closet? I don't know. Some people have books. Some people have Dukes of Hazard toys. Charlie Chaplin. The Dude. Beatles buses. All sorts of funky stuff in here. Um, anyway, so that's it. Robert Smith's jersey. Look it up. Look at Mint Car. That's the actual jer jersey he wore in the, the video, Mint Car. And uh, cool. So anyway... Thanks for watching.